This college football bowl picks part one edition of the Sports Gambling Podcast is brought to you by Hall of Fame Bets, the sports betting research platform for parlays, player props, and game lines. Download the Hall of Fame Bets app or visit hofbets.com. Use code SGPN50 to get 50% off your first month and start making smarter bets today. Ooh, welcome everyone to the Sports Gambling Podcast. I'm Sean, second the money green with my partner in picks, Ryan. Real money, Kramer. What's happening, Kramer? Dog. Guess I need a black shirt, maybe a hat. It's got a new character to develop. <laughs> Yes, thank you everyone for sending us photos of Tommy DeVito's agent Paisan joining us as as uh, as always when we're talking college football. Made man himself, Colby Dan, aka the Dantabase, aka Pick Dundee. What's happening, Colby? Love that agent. Just did a deep dive on him. Yeah, I thought it was okay. This guy's kind of having fun with the whole a hey, the uh, Paisan, the whole. T- but then Colby was digging through all this guy's photos. No, this was no bit. This was no gimmick. <laughs> this is what Tommy DeVito's agent looks like. It's it's as if he was cast for like a Saturday Night Live sketch. <laughs> like you, if you if you said like, hey, we're doing a Jimmy Kimmel Live sketch. This is the costume for Tommy uh, DeVito's agent. And Rob agent. Snyder's like, I got this. <laughs> That I honestly, if they he did kind of look like a Sandler movie, if character. he came out, <laughs> if he came out and what he wore to the game, I'd be, and I was working on the sketch. I go, yeah, just dial it back a little. Like it's, it's not going to be realistic. If you're that Italian, now people in real life, aren't that Italian, but he is right. Give me my cheese balls. <laughs> Great win for Dago Dimes. Awesome night of Monday night football. The Tennessee Dolph Titans Dolphins game was bonkers. Let's talk about this. Sure. They should and, do- and great win for the Giants, Ryan. Congrats. Oh, you're thank ba- you. You're back. Well, they- I mean, this is getting ridiculous. They should do two games every night. I, I or every Monday night, I'm sorry. But yeah, three but hours ago, yeah. you were pissed they were running two games at the same time. Well, I, I don't think it's smart. I think they should break them up, but nope. I, I still think two games every Monday makes sense. I'm gonna explain this to you. What they figured out, just like the now that we're all, uh, and this is going to be a little deep, so maybe sit down or pull over. But the algorithms are shifting the way humans are behaving. And so, what's happening here is that the algorithm is saying to the TV networks and the executives, we actually are going to get way more bang having the game on at the optimal time. Versus hmm. doing that 4 p.m., 7 p.m. bullshit not, on the West see, Coast. See, but you're still miss. You're not this thinking is, at well, it. Well, hold the on, correct hold way. on. I am. Yeah. I'm telling you why. Why it's. I'm explaining why it's happening. You just disagree with it. No. That's why they tested it out earlier in the season with a staggered start. What if we started one a little bit later? That didn't work. Turned out this is the optimal strategy. That's why 10 a.m. slash 1 p.m. on the East Coast works every Sunday because people understand they're going to well, be sitting and, down and and for that, seven hours. And even that they fumbled to me of commercial yeah. free television. Well, and you have to time the window for when all the yeah. union construction guys in Jersey and New York get off their job. <laughs> I mean, they're mostly no show jobs, but the ones who actually do show up. <laughs> And got a and got a you know hammer a couple nails. Now the live audience is going to get to see this. I'm going to bleep this out for the podcast. I don't want to get in any see, sort of trouble. I, what do you mean no show job? <laughs> What's a no show job? See, hold on. You're saying the fuck is this guy over? You're here? thinking like this guy du- knows a lot. Double header. I'm not even <laughs> saying that. I'm saying when the other game like and give me an hour head start. No, no, that's what I'm saying though. They tested that out. Hour and a they, half head they, start. They tested that out to start the. They. Season. I have zero faith in the NFL scheduling. Yeah. All right, they put way too many games on at ten o'clock. Uh, but then you have to understand, there's no they. It's 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 AI. It's a it's a robot. Well, they're it's failing. The AI is wrong. But who cares? Mach- at the end of the day, <laughs> football's on. No, I'm true. But two, give us two games no, every Monday. I, I disagree. Who cares? I think it was uh, it was a great strategy, and they should do any time they want to do a double header. It should be on the same time. This no. this worked well. Disagree. I stamp my approval on this, Commissioner. Once again, with a win. Disagree. 
Other than that bullshit Thursday night, that's a snark thing. answer, right? Adrian there. Kennedy, uh, friend of the program, saying, "I love the two games yeah. on Monday yeah. Night See? Football." Yeah, that's right. That's right. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I don't. I I have. We have eight TVs, so it's never going to be an issue. <laughs> yeah. How nine, many I games? Believe, right? Nine. Yeah, actually, well, nine yeah. plus yeah. the teardrop. So put on all the football yeah. all the time. I'm going to watch it. We're going to bet on it. Uh, again, that's why that's why bowl game ratings are going to be through the roof this year. <laughs> it's not, Even though these matchups suck, it, no <laughs> one cares about Jacksonville State and Lafayette, uh, and that oh hey or you know that's actually the the one bowl game where I feel like no one's actually sitting. Miami out. of Ohio <laughs> starting a different quarterback. Yeah. No one actually cares who's playing. They care is there a point spread? Is it football? We'll watch well, it. Let's we'll talk about it. this for a second. Can I say one difference this sure. year than most? The maturity of the same game parlay market has mm. made every game electric. The yes. idea that you can you can fire off props across these these as Colby would say meaningless college. It's well, almost they've just made them. Can, so can I can I Sh Sean? So what do tough. we love? We love preseason football DFS. Yep, has those kinds of vibes. Yeah. You're gonna get curveballs. There's, curve some, balls there's that, some unknown, yeah. uh, unknown people. It it lends itself to some fun money line dog. Definitely, oh. definitely. Look, I went oh. through and I found maybe only two, two bowl games that weren't affected by coaching changes, opt outs, or uh, oh, perfect. or Let's transfer portal. Well, but but hold on, I, I I want this as the argument of like oh, for wow. people that say that we shouldn't expand the playoffs. This is one of the most important factors to oh. me. Is like Sam Hartman, if 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 he was playing, you know, he opted out. Drake May opted out. If those teams are in the playoffs, they're playing. Yeah. And also, your coaches are going to are more likely to stay. I know there could be a situation where it, you know, someone's at a group of 5 and Ohio State offers him the head coaching job. Maybe he leaves yeah. in the post. No, no, no. Yeah. I, uh, yeah. It's very playoff, rare. Playoff yeah. the the bowl ratings will be good. The playoff games will be much well, much And don't better. you want to get the best players yeah, on the, the field? The best players like, will be on the field. Yeah. That yeah. that is the dream scenario. But barring that, uh, random college athletes playing random games. Oh, he's hilarious. People, people yeah. will still no, enjoy. Yeah, I'm not. I, but, I'm still going to watch these games. I, I like. also think you're going to see, like, I would have to imagine as the NIL thing matures, you're going to make sure you put in some contract stipulations around these motherfuckers playing in the bowl game. Well, I don't know how. No one's the bowl games. Yeah, sure, you're right. But no, also, it, as we expand the playoff, you're going to want to make sure that guys don't opt out of the playoff because, hey, I'm about to get signed a big contract. Yeah. But I, to Colby's point, I think the opt outs will go way, way down when you actually have a chance to win the championship. Well, and, and when and, it could well, affect which is your. Another reason why we should expand more than 12 is because and, you want to get and, the best. And of this. I think it'll help your draft stock a lot. Like if you show up in the college football playoffs and ball out. That's gonna that's gonna go. You could go. You could easily go from second to first round with a good college football player. It will happen in football way more than it does in basketball because it's way less about projection. Yeah, and I I agree. And I also think you're gonna start seeing those posts about how uh, you know so and such and such mid major quarterback by winning one game in the college football playoff ha earned himself. X million yes. dollars in NIL dollars. You know, like I, yeah. I think that's going to be how you normalize this opt out. Unless you're, I think the mega star still might opt out. Yeah. I mean, can, first off, can you imagine if you're hosting a home playoff game and you barely got in your coastal Carolina? I don't fucking know. Some, 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 sure. some school and, and you ball out and you upset one team. Maybe you lose the second round, but all of a sudden, you might, yeah. how many endorsements you're going to have in that city too? It, it just, it, you know, it's the same thing with March Madness. They say each round you uh, progress in, in March Madness is worth like five to ten million dollars for yeah. the school or some some. Uh, you know, I'm completely Kyle, pulled Kyle out of my nailed ass, it but. in the YouTube chat saying, "Can't wait for a college football bracket that isn't four lines." Yeah, I, and the NBA had uh, you know a, a surge in in viewership because they made a bracket with teams. It's it's not rocket science. They they made the courts disgusting and everyone hated them and yet everyone seemed to like the event itself. Yeah. Uh, Dick Puncher in the chat, the legend himself, <laughs> sending a photo from himself at the game. He is a Packers fan, but still, he was at the game, still shows up for the chat saying, quote, guys, Tommy DeVito overcame a fourth quarter dick punch tonight. I think he's <laughs> for real. Uh, and uh, got we, some we, questions <laughs> about the avatar. Yeah, picture. his <laughs> avatar <laughs> clearly is not him. Uh, uh, he tweeted us uh, as make he sure said he would. Yeah, make sure your YouTube history is private at Gambling uh, Podcast. Yeah, 
<laughs> we already have a poll question firing off. Oh, nice. uh, and I I sco I scooped this uh, poll question from the chat itself. Which quarterback would you rather have? Tommy DeVito currently getting 67% of the votes over number 1 overall pick Bryce Young. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bad times. Wow. Is this Linsanity 2.0, Sean? No, that already happened. It was Dobbs. Yeah. Josh Dobbs was Lins No, I would say Lins <laughs> this has Linsanity vibes because he means a lot to a certain type of person in New York. There's a there's a racial <laughs> element of it that the Dobbs thing didn't quite capture. I I was trying to process how do you how to respond. No, in the same way that Jeremy Lin, Asian Americans in New York embrace New York, it was in and in the whole world. Yes, yeah. Th yeah. It, it went global, but he means a lot to a certain type of person. I would say that Dobbs, while it was a fun story, not quite the same like connection yeah, with the people. A, I mean, there were some people dressing up in astronaut suits, but it wasn't the same as as the Tommy DeVito story. Short burst <laughs> of energy, uh, igniting uh, a team. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I sure. I, I think the the cultural identity part is is uh, way more relevant in this case. Yes. To Colby's point, the him being an Asian dude was more, or in like an Ivy League dude was more of like a you know a novelty bit about it. Not so much that New York like New Yorkers give a shit about this Asian American. That, that's how I would. I don't, like. I, I yeah. I don't think like as someone who was into they the did Knicks for a little bit. It, but that was more about like the team around him. Look, yeah, New it, York but, City. I love New York City, but come on, you got the you get uh, yeah, but, but front runner fans. But it's you know not, what it's mean? not like, an Italian yeah. guy. Like like, a, like the, the, the entire world is like they know where the parents are sitting. They're making fun of it like it's the fucking Sopranos. Like they weren't making fun of Jeremy Lin and his family like eating fried rice. See, I mean, Ryan, like, Ryan's. <laughs> it just all comes back to the anti-Italian. It's just, unbelievable <laughs> how we're allowing this to happen. Well, it's a celebration of culture. Hey, speaking <laughs> of celebrating, uh, great look at the way his mama feeds him those chicken cutlets. Yeah. It that just shit like, looked amazing. I'll say that. If you're that, familiar man. with Dave Chappelle, all I can <laughs> yeah. hear in my head is someone saying, "Just like the encyclopedia." So. <laughs> all time hit. All uh, time. Speaking of great Italians, shout out to Little C's, our favorite Italian. Italians because they are the official pizza sponsor of the National Football League. I can only imagine the great Tommy DeVito after winning, uh, going home, and him and the fam ordering a giant pretzel crust pizza to share. You can order online during our Pizza Pizza pregame one hour before and three hours after NFL kickoffs, plus all day Sunday. Get ready for some football and some fun. And what's more fun than a pizza that is also a pretzel? It is. A pizza pretzel. It has pretzel crust. It has goldeny, delicious brown crust with some sweet, sweet, salty sprinkles. And of course, that pepperoni piled high. You get the cookie dough brownie bites. Love them. And the crazy bread, the little C's wings, moist, delicious, and uh, dare I say, nutritious. Uh, you can get it delivered or our in store pizza portal pickup. So grab some friends and enjoy a few slices during the game. Little Caesars pizza, e pizza. Even available in Singapore, Sean. Really? Yeah. I did not know that. Did not know that, and and uh, our great friends from Canada. I have reached out to Little Caesars about the pretzel crust in Canada. I'm doing everything I can. Uh, shout out to Little Squeeze, who's also changed his uh, profile icon to uh, Nero himself, Little C's Paisan. Love it. Uh, yeah, let's talk. This, some this would be a great time for them to secure Tommy DeVito. <laughs> oh, what are they waiting for? Uh, this is this reminds me of the time that uh, Heineken dropped the, the dropped the ball and didn't secure Taylor Heineke, and he like Bud Light was his official beer. <laughs> Come on, guys, slide in. You got lo you're going against local mom and pop shops. <laughs> you want to? I guess we're talking FCS football. Yeah, first. let's go. I didn't. Great even, days. I did not approve the oh. the order here. Uh, so the chronological order. Yeah, <laughs> Colby Dan six pack crack it open. All right, so Colby's number one game of the week, five p.m. on it's the West is Coast. A good game. We're heading up to South Dakota. Right, we're going to be at the Circa. You know, we're getting some live dog action on the Albany Great Danes. I'm going to go ahead and say it. Last Friday's uh, Furman Montana game, I think, was the best college football game of the season. It was awesome, yeah. and we were we were doing our show live uh, on Veasan. Someone had convinced me to take uh, Montana laying the points, even though I pointed out Furman's defensive line would give them some trouble. I thought there'd be a little more snow. That 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 yeah. uh, you could never believe hurt these. the handicap a little bit. You could never the believe whole time these Sean's just muttering, <laughs> like as if you you held a gun to his head, 
walked him up to the window. <laughs> I like blaming other people for my gambling Sean, losses. Not right? only, you know what? I'll, my, uh, the audience can relate. <laughs> you know, let me help you out, Colby. I'll point the finger right back at Sean. This motherfucker rushes us. We we finish doing what we're doing. He rushes us to get down to the window to get yeah. the action in. Because I'm that hungry you were for, for action. That you were forced to get down. Yeah. Because I was. I wanted some action. <laughs> if I didn't listen, well, to hopefully you. you tailed me on the uh, the Albany money line play yes. when we hit. Dog. I was too busy slaying dome. the slot machine. Yeah, mm, Ryan no with a uh, slot. How's the slot? Ryan, Ryan talked a ton of shit about yeah. how I was a slot. What's going jockey. on here? Next thing I know, I'm seeing big win videos from Ryan's account. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I did go back to the slot machine. It was all oh, great as a push. It was a little up, a little down. I did get a ton of free spins uh, and got on like a sweet heater. At one point, I yelled at the machine, "You're, you're, it's about fucking time!" And then I could never. Usually with the free spins, you that's where you start racking up the big bonuses, and I just never got there. So, uh, great as a push, I'll be back. I, I still don't enjoy it, but I will say I, you don't enjoy I, it. I, I, the not putting the card in the machine definitely had an impact. Yeah, come on. It's it, I it didn't it didn't think it was unrelated, but that's how you get that free stuff. They just make you lose on purpose. All right, so Sean's already declared his love for the Great Danes. Colby's kicking stuff over <laughs> here. Col Colby. I assume so what we I went back to my FCS notes. What we learned which failed us last week or failed me lay in the big chalk. Now we're later into the deal where this is what? Yeah. What round of We're in the final 4. 4. So yeah. we want to take I mean we're given we're gifted this opportunity to take 22 points. We have to take it, right? I mean this line's absurd. I thought Villanova had they not given up that block punt did probably you, did, played Better than did, them, but the block punt was everything. Did you make this line, or is this no? Real? This is real. South yeah. Dakota State's won 27 games in a row, uh, which is a a pretty insane run. And their their last loss was to Montana State back in the 2021 FCS playoff semifinal. So I understand why this is 22 points, but if there's ever a time where someone is maybe looking past the team. You know, Albany needed a bit of a comeback to win that game. Uh, 16 points in the fourth quarter. I, I, I just like this Albany team catching 22. I think they got nothing to lose. They're playing fast. They're playing loose. They got a decent passing game. Uh, Poffenberger, 341, oh. three touchdowns. He's a fucking beast, man. Like, I know we love his name, but I'm saying like he lives up to it. When no. you watch the, the, you're like this guy. Now, granted, South Dakota State's passing defense much better than Idaho's. Well, also, you know, it helped them too, and and this could really hurt Albany. Was if that win is the same <laughs> that we were watching that Nova game, you were, yeah. you were that win was insane. That no one could throw the ball in that Nova South Dakota game, which might have kept Nova in the game. But that is definitely Albany's thing. Is you know that guy Brevin Easton, their wideout's a fucking stud. Poffenberger can air it out. If that wind is super crazy, that could be uh, something that really hurts the the offense approach for for the Great Danes. Uh, looks like we're a high of forty one, low of twenty five. With eh, wind doesn't look bad. That's yeah, Friday night too, so you're probably gonna get more of that twenty five than uh, forty one. Okay, and the wind wind looks mild. I would say. Okay, not, so we're all on all in the Great Danes. Not knowing the it's area. just too many points, man. Uh, well, I would like to say uh, Poffenberger is not about the name; it's about that athleticism. Yeah, he's a dog. And reminder, our uh, consensus plays went two and one last week. That brings our consensus record to sixty three and forty seven. Oh, we didn't even talk about AKA. that army overcover oh. I hit on. <laughs> well, Kramer and I technically had the under on the show. We picked it at twenty seven and a half. Uh, it finished at twenty eight. <laughs> it did. Uh, yeah. The game did close at twenty eight. We were all on <laughs> army. That was a nice. Win. I was on the. Hit both my locks, Albany and Army. Super sharp over here. That's an all-time gambling finish. That yes, is. For that, that was is. really. That's an all-time. Because they could have just he could have thrown it away. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like he didn't need. Yeah, yeah. They could have kneeled it or yeah. just done a QB sneak. <laughs> well, just the fact that also, Navy like tries a quarterback sneak from the three. Yeah, it's like you have a chance to win the game. It's like no, we're just gonna go quarterback sneak. He almost got it in. That was crazy. <laughs> Who did you? Because uh, you, I I noticed you cleverly pulled out your uh, playoff look ahead spot again here, Sean. Yes. Who who did you use that for last week? I think I used that uh, was it, was South it? Dakota State because <laughs> I thought Nova catching twenty and a half was way too crazy, and I was right. This is yeah. unthinkable. Yeah. Back to back week, South Dakota looking. They South are. Dakota State looking ahead. They've won twenty seven <laughs> games in a row. How excited can you get this for a game where you're a twenty two point favorite? This is a genius handicap. 
Love it. All right. Yeah, we're all in the dog. I. That's it. It's just too many points. Too many. Georgia points. Southern heads to oh, now. So now we're talking this about this is uh, chronologically now. So now you get yeah. at eight a.m. bowl game Saturday eight a.m. on the West Coast, eleven a.m. local time. We're talking Myrtle Beach Bowl, mm. Georgia Southern, and the Ohio Bobcats. They head to Conway, South Carolina. Ohio is catching three and a half points plus one fifty on the money line. Georgia Southern minus one eighty. Forty eight is the total. I mean, Sun Belt put twelve teams in the bowl games. Colby, they only have fourteen teams in the conference. It feel almost feels like that should be impossible for a group of five. <laughs> uh, like I'm not really sure how that works out. They play a lot of FCS teams this year. This game's tough because Ohio won't have their quarterback Curtis Roar or both their running backs or both their running yeah, backs it, or their top receiver. <laughs> but then on the other side, Georgia Southern just let up fifty-five to Appalachian State. I don't know if I feel Ooh. that comfortable laying points with Georgia All Southern. Right. This is how you break down this game, and I, you uh, know, since the uh, NIL times, it seems like the uh, interest in what college athlete gets for free at the bowl games is, is oh, gone yeah. way down. So I uh, was not able to find any kind of other than like gift cards, a lot of gift cards being given out a lot of Bose headsets, boring. Who's who's being more distracted with the trip to Myrtle beach. Who's it affecting? I more? think it's Ohio. Ohio. Right? Yeah. I think it's Ohio, you know, cause they Georgia Southern has to play at coastal every year or every other year. So they've been, so they, know, they know yeah. the smell. It's not, it's only like a two hour drive. They, they've yeah. been to yeah. Dick's last resort. They know how to handle the waitresses. <laughs> That's an act. You don't have to kick his ass. <laughs> Dick's last resort. If you've never been there, it's a tilted it, kilt. Right? Yeah, tilted kilt. Also Wait, there. Were we not together the time that we were being served by? Uh, like, so it's typically a chick, and she's an asshole too. Yeah, right? that's we're, their thing. Is like they're total dicks. Wait, were we not there when when we had the effeminate uh, gay dude who was <laughs> <laughs> yelling at us? I don't remember that. Where was uh, it? I, it might have been with Dick Olson. Someone we were there with got very upset. It was basically <laughs> like you can take your shit somewhere else, and went to the manager and had him swap out the uh, uh. All, all time. Uh, all, all I mean. It, it's one of those things. Like, uh, I don't ever need to eat at a place like that, but fuck off. Yeah. It's the kind of place where I, I could have sworn it was Colby because in my mind, Colby was the one that wanted to fight the dude. I don't have any recollection. Doesn't mean it didn't happen, though. No, that, but there that was, was, doesn't there mean was it like, didn't happen. There was like the dude, the water Colby, Colby wanted to fight was me when I said Tom Brady was better than Chad Ellie, and we argued for four hours. Yeah. Oh wow! That's that, a, that, that Moscow pool hall. We could do a whole episode. <laughs> we did, we like restarted the argument three different times. We were in this nu- this quaint establishment, and it like, was fun though. You, I could, had fun. you could hear the ar- you, but it's like there were multiple rooms, it, like an, yeah. almost like an old house that wasn't like an open concept. Yeah, it was. A, and yeah. It, from another like ha- through a hallway to another room, you could just hear them going at it about. <laughs> Oh man, it's Moscow, Idaho. They've heard much worse Dan, fucking stories. Danny, Let me uh, tell you d- that. dumb shit in the chat saying Georgia uh, Southern will have fans. Ohio won't. Oh, that will. That- I I normally like to fade Clay Helton towards the backside of the season, or but all. I think you have to take him right now just because Ohio, like Ohio, doesn't even have their backup quarterback. He's he got injured. He's out for the year, so they're on their third string quarterback. Yeah. D- does all right. I'll take Georgia Southern. I'm a little skeptical it. of their defense, though. Ah. Uh, Typically, you lay the points in these things. I feel like the the, the, the money's been, the blinds have been out there long enough. People know enough about the rosters and all that stuff. So I'd imagine that the 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 favorite is the favorite for a reason. All right, let's head back to this is FCA. This is a celebration bowl. Yep, we're doing Howard, Florida A and M. This is the only line I did not. I had to uh, concoct. Oh, interesting. Okay, so this is a pick done deal. Nine a.m. on the West Coast. Uh, this is. Amazing, amazing. Uh, I mean, if you've never seen the movie Drumline, all time Nick Cannon performance. Mm. Uh, hopefully, we get the good halftime performance. Florida, I I know nothing about either one of these teams. My note is Gus Johnson went to Howard. Uh, Florida A and M is fire. They're eleven and one this year. Willie Simmons, the former Clemson quarterback, doing a damn good job as the head coach of the Rattlers. Um, didn't need so these are the teams. Didn't want to. Wouldn't. Florida A and M won the swack. Howard won the Miac. Howard okay. actually upset North Carolina Central. Everyone had, including myself, had Central penciled in. Howard pulled off the upset, and they play in this game because of the historical significance. And they opt out of the FCS playoffs. They opt out of the FCS playoffs because they make more money in this game. Mm. 
Oh, then. Dion was on record for saying when the FCS playoffs offer us a guarantee of this much money, we won't do it until then. And uh, I mean, yeah, I can't blame him. Yeah, it's their own playoff. Yeah. They get to play in it. It's guaranteed. That's exactly how the BCS started. So who are we taking? Florida. A&M. So I, I I had a hard time trying to forecast this line <laughs> just because they haven't how played cl- in a right. while. They haven't Sean, played how, in a while. How close will this this spread be? To I this? have no idea. Like if this like. The best I could do is I looked at what Jackson State did, what that line was for that, and then I was like, okay, well, because how, Howard's six and five, so they made it by upsetting Central. So you're saying this could be a real bloodbath? No, I think no, I think Howard will get up for it because they'll recognize the moment. Howard almost beat Northwestern this year, but I also think like where will they set this line at? I I had I I'm, had a hard time I'm seeing training. a line. Yeah, how, Howard six and five coming into this game, right? Yeah. Uh yeah, they have Howard getting seven points. Whoa. Really? See, this goes to Whoa. show. And you had eighteen. All right. I yeah. Whoa. So that means that Way means off. we should be smashing the Florida A and M Raptors. Smash. Yeah, I think we do that. That's, if it's yeah. seven, come on. Yeah. I All mean, right. Howard has some bad losses this year. You know, I mean, Howard. Well, and and again, like you said, Howard. Just had their Super Bowl. They just had that huge upset win. I mean, Howard has some offense. That's why I was going to consider uh, taking them if that number was really that big because them backdooring it certainly is a possibility. But if it's only seven, I think I think you're going to see a motivated Florida and A and M team and close this out. Yeah, even though they've had a lot of rest, but I'm still with you. That Florida A and M's really good. I'm laying the seven. Uh, bison often deal with rattlesnakes by stomping on them. <laughs> well, what uh, what other moves do they have, Bison, besides the stomp? Well, a lot of the, the horns, a lot of the horns, a lot of those types of animals that are like generally skittish would probably just leave the scene. So the fact that they would, you know, stick around and take care of some business gives me hope. <laughs> and like I said, my one note: Gus Johnson attended Howard, so mm. in Gus, I trust. So we're taking Florida A and M. Yeah, this is interesting, Colby. I feel like Colby baited us into this. So I mean, I thought that line would be six and five against eleven and one. What did you think they would set that line? All right, lay it, lay it. Sean, we got to make sure we get down on this uh, out on a paper ticket. I'm in. All right, nice job. That was the first half of the Colby pick. Uh, Colby Dent six pack. Shout out (laughs) to the Colby Dent six pack, and shout out to Underdog Fantasy. Have you signed up with Underdog Fantasy? If not, what are you waiting for? Uh, we almost uh, we had a nice little sweat there for a while on our crazy uh, Mega Five pick uh, Underdog Fantasy sweat uh, for our happy hour. And of course, they got college basketball going. Uh, let's see if I can pull up any uh, college football. Oh, okay, getting ahead of ourselves a little bit, but. UCLA at Boise, Carson Steele. We're definitely taking higher, fifty-seven and a half. It's not at Boise. That's at the uh, that, sorry, that yeah. filthy new stadium. Uh, the Rams play it. It is at SoFi. Yeah. It is the LA Bowl. Why Carson Steele, higher, <sighs> fifty-seven and a half rushing yards. Colby, what uh, is there anything else we want to tail it with in the Boise game? There's not a ton out. Uh, Ashton Gentry, Ginty, Ginty. Sorry, uh, ninety and a half rushing yards. Uh, I would no. I would probably go, or we can go to the Cal I'll, Texas I'll go, Tech uh, game. No, no, no. Hang on. I'll go. I'll go lower on Gene T's rushing yards. Uh, despite UCLA's DCs now at USC, right? And then I'm just trying. Yeah, I think like, give me lower on that, and then give me higher on Lexington Steel. So Carson Lexington Steel higher 57 and a half rushing yards. Ashton Gene T lower 90 and a half. Rushing yards, a hundred dollar uh, pick play pays uh, three hundred, and you can get a free hundred dollar uh, pick over at Underdog Fantasy when you use the promo code SGPN. Sign up, deposit one hundred dollars, and you got a hundred dollar bonus. Promo code SGPN. Kramer, I see they got the uh, the women's college basketball. Colby, even been mm. uh, diving into those streets. I, I, I have not. I know my my Hokies have a uh, pretty. Are they, are they balling place. this year? Yeah, we might need to have a. Imagine what what a woman's uh, college basketball experience podcast would be like. Fe- <laughs> find female Patty C. I did go uh, to a friend's a friend's game with his younger sister playing, and they lost sixty to nothing. Oh, that's really that's tough. Yeah, 
at a college level? No, that was a oh, okay. uh, that was a high school game. But still, <laughs> did you did you uh, were you allowed to stay uh, to the completion of the game? Uh, I was. Oh, and nice. It actually kind of reminds me. Did you guys catch the North Dakota State basketball score yesterday? No. Ooh. Me and CJ Sullivan were talking about this. Uh, North Dakota State. Where is this? They beat Oak Hill Christian, okay. one hundred and eight to fourteen. Which Sean. That's uh how much still you gotta, not ninety six, but woo-hoo. uh yeah, because you had one of I the lost greatest rec, rec yeah. league losses of all time. But it was but 60 you're, you're also not half You're also not getting a scholarship to play. That's true. And uh I mean, come on. A hundred and they had sixty to five. Now what I do like about Oak Hill Christian is they clearly had a great halftime approach because they scored nine in the second half. <laughs> right? So they made some halftime so, so adjustments. They did make some adjustments. Emmanuel Coffey, the guard, seven points of his, of the team's fourteen. Just gonna go ahead and say, maybe get that guy the ball a little more as he went for seven, one, and two. Where is Oak Hill Christian located? <laughs> Sean, I'm just making the assumption. Is that, wait, that's Oak Hill Christian? That's a college. It's a yeah. college. Because I know there's a a high school out here. Yeah, right? I I did check to see if it was a high school team they were playing. Nebraska. What, Nebraska. What about you? Want to wager a guess? I I think I kind of know. Go. Oh. Because I thought I saw someone tweet this out. I think it's Minnesota. It is Minnesota. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Bemidji, Minnesota. It's a private uh, Christian school up there. And apparently they have a really, really trash <laughs> basketball team. Yes, yeah, so and not like NDSU is great either. You know what I mean? So pretty hilarious outcome. Uh, let's see. Oh, oh, interesting. They have a interesting prohibition in their sports program. I, you know, you can read about it on your own time. All right, moving along. Jacksonville State. Rich Rod, our guy, Rich Rod. Popping his little head. Wait, how they let a team? Th- this is their first year in the FBS. How did they let them into the Bulls? We will not stand for this. <laughs> Get bring this to Parliament, Colby. We have to tell them about this. They made a mistake. They allowed a team to uh, get. It's so funny. It's like we're not going to let you play in bowl games. Uh, we have so many bowl games. We need you to play. It'd been funny if they said, "Fuck you, we're not going to play." They're in the New Orleans now. This I saw two different bowl names listed for this one. I believe New Orleans Bowl, right? It's the R and L Carriers New Orleans Bowl. Okay. Jacksonville State, like I said, Rich Rod and the boys, uh, they're heading down again. First, first season in the FBS, always impressive because you hear about how long it. T- I mean, these rules are literally because it takes time to transition, and yet they pop their head up right away. Uh, good. On the other side, you got the basically a home game for the Raging Cajuns. Um, I guess they won't be without their quarterback. Jack, yeah, I mean, the uh, Cajuns are down to their third quarterback. Spreads three and a half for Jacksonville State, minus one sixty-five on the money line. Uh, Raging Cajuns plus one forty. This is actually one of the best bowl games. Is the total? This is one of the best bowl games Why? as far as n- lack of opt-outs and uh, coaching s- coaching uh, staffs intact. So, I think it's a smash spot for Jacksonville State minus three and a half. Smash. Rich Rodriguez, he used to he used to. You know, he used to be an offensive coordinator. He went undefeated in '98 at Tulane in this filthy stadium. All right. Well, you're saying he knows a thing or two about uh, now. He's gonna know everything. He's gonna know everything. What did they have a Harris right across there? <laughs> you been? You been there? I've never been to New Orleans. Oh, we gotta go. Which we gotta go. it does that's feel a, like I should. Come on, man. That's one of the. That's one of the. No, best. we gotta do a SGP trip to. To uh, New Orleans, please. That one is should be at the top mean, of please? our list. I'm saying that. What are you that, begging? No, I'm oh, saying like you, you throw in all these foo foo cities. <laughs> You're up there in Moscow eating sorry, soy burgers. Sorry, we yeah. took you to Pullman. That was uh, took me to Moscow. All right, I was feeding llamas and shit. All uh, right? I mean, it was a nice, it was a nice yard. <laughs> I we woke up and there was farm animals. It was there. very interesting. Yeah, it was very interesting. But dude, this is a, a great opportunity. L- L- Louisiana, ever since uh, Napier left, they went to Desmaro. They've been a mess. They're they're very fortunate to even be bowling. I think Jacksonville State's gonna lay it on them. Yeah, this has lock potential. I'm with you, Kramer. Uh, are you? Yeah, a they're favored. We, we already discussed this. <laughs> Two, because Kramer has a system. <laughs> I love the teams that were told they're not going to get to play in a bowl game. They now get to play in a yeah, bowl game. Yeah, I, like, I like that angle too because it was that whole thing of FCS to FBS, and then they we, needed 
uh, certain teams to lose out, and then then they were bowl eligible. So you gotta love that angle. Hey, you uh, you un- you little guy, follow these unfair rules. Hmm. Miami of Ohio. And now we're moving along. This is twelve thirty on Saturday. Why we need a bowl game in Orlando or multiple bowl games in Orlando every year is beyond me. The Red Hawks of of Miami, the real Miami, although they lost that battle to the actual Miami pretty badly <laughs> pretty bad. early in the year. We got sucked into that. <laughs> uh, yeah, what was that? Gabbert's uh, brother, I think, was uh, was was planting, his, Gabbert, yeah. planting his flag, and then uh, they're taking on the Mountaineers of App State. App State laying five and a half, minus two hundred five on the money line. Miami of Ohio plus one seventy. 45 and a half is the total. Uh, uh, One of these teams won their conference and one of them didn't. And the one that didn't is favored. Red Hawks, though, they've been good ATS. 10 and uh, 10 and uh, 10 and 2 last 12 games. I know they're on their third quarterback, but I I don't know. Uh, Or actually, sorry, 10 and 3 against the spread for the entire season. Third best in the nation. This Red Hawks team, they just cover spreads, Colby. Yeah, I'm with you. And Nate Noel, the oh. star running back for App State's opting out. Or no, he's in the portal. He he hit the portal. Portaling. Yeah. Why is my why are what do you think the spreads about here? I mean, App State's just mad good. disrespect. Yeah, yeah. Sun Belt better. They than put Mac. up some numbers too. I'll take the points though. I think Miami Ohio's defense is really legit this year. I so think they're a live dog. Yeah. Wouldn't shock me. This is the Mexico Cure Bowl. I uh, I don't know why. I think like maybe the Mexican Tourism Board uh sponsored it. Uh, it's actually the avocados from Mexico. Oh, okay. oh, all right, that makes sense. I'm I'm on a preview that says Mexico Cure Bowl. Not those bullshit it's avocados not taking, from other places. It's not taking place in Mexico. Just to just so people. Why know. not? Uh, just so we're clear, this is. I mean, everyone understand. I mean, if you live in Southern California, you know this, but the cartels uh, run the avocado. Oh, don't <laughs> industry. <laughs> and so this is <laughs> this is a cartel run. Uh, it's all it's all pink. Yeah, no, take the points. We love the Mac. We like the Mac more in basketball than football, but we love the Shout Mac. Shout out to Akron. Yeah. Do a weekly radio hit in Akron. Shout oh, out to the Love zips. the Zips. Zip it up. 130 on Saturday. We're heading back to Missoula, which means we're heading back down to the FCS levels. You know they just have a couple of fewer scholarships. That's the only difference, Colby. North Dakota State laying a point and a half. Uh, another spot where I assume Colby's going to tell us why we love uh, Montana against this bullshit dome team. 49 and a half is the total. Uh, do we have a weather report? Let's quickly check. Uh, pull up. We don't, the weatherman's not with us. Uh, well, and, and North Ohio Dakota, 41. North Dakota state mm. put it on. Uh, they, they, they did, but did out. you see the news after that? No, uh, their head coach took the uh, yeah, linebacking exactly. position at USC. How much money did he get paid? They haven't announced that. So yet. he left. He was. So a, he's won like four national he's, championships. He's like the most. Be, yeah. He's the like he, the Nick Saban at the FCS level right now, and he left to go be a linebackers coach. But he is finishing out the season. But you got to wonder now, because look, I'll be honest. Like North Dakota State, the, it's been great that they've rallied and got to this point. Yeah, but. They did not look like the same team in the regular season. Now they well, have and, looked and, really good lately. And I think you could look at it two ways with this Montana team. One, hey, they needed overtime to to uh, beat Furman. Or you could say like, man, battle tested. They played a really tough game. Great, a great test. Got their competition up. Um, I like Montana. I like what I saw out of their quarterback. Their special teams. Yeah. Uh, electric. I, I love Montana too, mainly because look, Ents, their coach for North Dakota State, he's looking at uh, property right now in uh, Palos Verdes. Yeah. Uh, I, I, this so is a smash. Is spot. this like a wink, wink? You're going to be the defensive coordinator? Is this like. Ha- no, they just hired UCLA's defensive coordinator. Then what, what is going on here? That, does, that feels like a lateral move. Or yeah. Probably I, going well, down. I think that's something to do with the. Uh, you know, the, you know the Big Ten's giving them a billion dollars every, or the the TV networks and teams in the Big so Ten starting next year make a billion dollars. How much is he getting paid right now to coach North Dakota State? You think? A I million? Would, I would guess like somewhere around six hundred thousand to a million. So what's he right? take getting to leave that job? Like God status. What what are you getting to leave God status for three? Well, years? dude, Montana State, who's a very good FCS, their head coach left to be Texas's defensive coordinator. That's a coordinator. And now position. he's Nevada's head coach. So So it's that. You're yeah. just you're it's a quicker 
Made nearly four hundred thousand in salary at North Dakota State. So that's what? actually shockingly low. Two mil. Yeah, that's actually two mil, and you're low. gone. Yeah, you get a, a three year deal for. I, I think Southern California's appeal. They're not paying a linebackers coach two mil a year. No, he's gonna make like a mil. Is he single? Maybe eight hundred thousand. He's probably single. He probably just had, he probably just got. Yeah, he's one of those guys who will get like, penetration. Fucking, he's already you only he, live yeah. once. <laughs> he's got. He's he's worked through the North Dakota market. There's <laughs> only so many ladies on Tinder in North Dakota. Do you want me to coach linebackers? Fuck it. Sure. No I'm ma- in. Hey, uh, friendly reminder: this show is brought to you by Better Help. That's right. Um. Uh, talking about uh, you know gift giving uh, for the holiday season, you, you can go gift cards, vacations. I always like giving out some jerseys. Um, you know whether or not your family gives gifts during the holidays, you get to define how you give to yourself. Holidays, great time to uh, do that. Check in on yourself. You know your brain is your most powerful muscle, and think about how many great athletes uh, see someone, talk to a sports psychologist. And you know, get some benefits from therapy. Talking to someone, especially during the holiday season, can really de-stress you, de-escalate you, help you work through all the drama that surrounds the holidays. And uh, if you're thinking about therapy, better, get better help a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, suited to your schedule. Fill out a brief questionnaire, get matched with a licensed therapist, and switch therapists at any time for no additional charge. In the season of giving, give yourself what you need with BetterHelp. Visit betterhelp.com slash SGPN today to get 10% off your first month. That's better com slash SGPN. I forgot to mention, guys, that uh Friday night we do have the D three national championship, mm. North Central what? Illinois against Cortland. What do you mean you forgot to mention? Once cuts down got yeah. knocked out, I was done yeah, with it. Yeah, cuts down, they they got axed. That was D two. But uh D three North Central just took care of Wartburg in a classic. That was a uh, great Wartburg game. We were watching that here. I know. Uh, we were watching that game, and then uh, we got uh, Harding D D two Harding against Colorado School of Mines. Watch out for the ore diggers, but the but Harding's been balling. The Colorado School of Mines gave Ty, uh, Tyson Bajan a tough time. <laughs> yeah. Uh, last year, I know that. But Harding, you know what they you know what they run right? Well, they Flex run the triple. Bone, oh, baby. Wow. Flex bone. Saturday, 10 a.m. folks, Feel, Pacific time. We should probably isolate Colby saying flex bone like that. <laughs> flex bone. <laughs> New Mexico State heads to wait. They stay in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Well, no, no, no. They're in Las Cruces, that's, so they have to make uh, the trip to where uh, he pissed. That's that's fine. I'm just They gotta go to that stadium where he pissed on the logo, Diego pissing Pavia, that is. Let You're, me guess. Colby's gonna fade him here and take Col- Fresno State. Colby loves no. Diego. <laughs> Pavia. Oh man, it's like his uh it's like his son. New Mexico State yeah. minus three and a half against Fresno State. Minus one eighty on the money line. Fresno State plus one fifty. Fifty one is the total. Uh this is the I oh my goodness. The New Mexico Bowl featuring New Mexico State. Yeah, so Tedford's they not dump gonna, green chili on the on the winner. Uh that's awesome. That's better than mayonnaise. No, I made that up, but they oh. should. <laughs> Love green chili. Oh, it, it is delicious. very believable. New Mexico's food scene actually underrated. highly underrated. It's okay. It's but, but you're it's underrated because you're expecting sand. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> I've no, I've I, been the I've I've spent a lot green of time in New Mexico. Great. Yeah, it's, yeah. It, they have great food. Yeah, it's it's uh, basically the entire border of Mexico <laughs> has good food. Like our whole no. Uh, I've been to Arizona a bunch of times. Uh, New Mexico so food better than Arizona oh, food. Wow. Now that's a spicy that's, take. That could be yeah. a spicy take. Uh, Ryan, are you worried? You're a market dynamics guy. New Mexico State opened as a one point favorite. It's now up to three and a half, crossing a key number. Can you still lay three and a half with New Mexico State? Well, I I figured that there would be no a. What are we supposed to do in bowl season? We lay the points because other people are smarter than us. We just follow. Two, uh, Diego pissing Pavia, as Colby said. And by the way, we like the co- we thought the coach might go somewhere. It didn't not going anywhere. Is Mikey Keene definitely nah, starting there. for Fresno, Colby? Uh, as far as I know. Okay. But you know, Fresno certainly been, been you dealing think, with concussion like symptoms uh, throughout the season. He's the been game. banged up. How, how um, many has, has Tedford <laughs> yeah. missed other games or this is gonna be the first game? This is the first. And he's gone. He's like not there with practice and everything. I think he's there with practice, but he has some health concerns. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So does that matter? Probably. Probably a little bit, but I also wonder wonder about the Fresno opt outs. I think they would have more guys that would probably opt out. But 
No, pissing Pavia. You can't fade him. Are you kidding me? I mean, got to bet on him. Got to bet. Uh, it's kind of a culmination of a year. Yeah, they're going for win eleven. They've never had that before. Colby's gonna bet on this guy anywhere he goes. For yes. the rest of time. Yeah. Oh my God. Yes. Look, there hasn't been a cool <laughs> football player <laughs> really since Brian Bosworth. So <laughs> now we get Diego pissing Pavia, who's on that level. You, you. I mean, are you not watching the Giants right now, Tommy DeVito? Look, I mean, he's cool, but he's still a quarterback. First off, oh. and he doesn't play like. Diego pissing Did Pavia. you see the way he lowered his shoulder? I'm just gonna say this right now. If they meet in a bar fight, Diego pissing Pavia is gonna fuck him up. Right? Tommy DeVito? Yes. Uh, oh, whoa, state whoa. wrestling champ Diego pissing whoa. Pavia. He's he gonna, stands. Oh, DeVito stands wrestle? no chance. What are you gonna wrestle? No chance. We're, we're not. We're we're men. We're not gonna wrestle. He's gonna, and afterwards, he's gonna end he'll up piss a swamp. on the Italian he's flag. He's gonna end up on a swamp. <laughs> in a swamp. Well, why don't you wrestle this bullet out of your fucking brain? <laughs> Wow, that's that's intense, yeah. Ryan. And you're portraying the Italian Americans as violent people, uh, which I don't. I no, don't I'm like. just explaining how they would settle that uh, that uh, wrestling match. So we're all in on New Mexico State. Ah, yeah. It seems like the right thing. Come on, their do. logo's got uh, fucking cowboys <laughs> shooting two guns. It's fantastic. All right, what more For do now. you want? For yeah. now, yeah. And maybe they'll dump green chilies. Maybe a nice little uh, salsa, some fresh tomatoes. Four thirty <laughs> on Saturday, the Bruins of UCLA. Fun trivia question. Ask your friend if they know what a Bruin is. Most people don't. UCLA. Yep. Uh, bring your own cocaine. Hmm. They're uh, UCLA at home. I feel like that's a little bit embarrassing to be playing in the LA Bowl. Boise State. They're they're opponent. playing at a stadium that's closer to their campus <laughs> that than is the funny. Rose Bowl. <laughs> but no, no students are going to go to this game. Let's be real. Uh, Boise State plus three and a half, plus one fifty on the money line. Uh, UCLA minus one eighty. Forty nine and a half is the total. Uh, Boise State on their second coach for the season. The, the third, I guess, maybe. Did they hire another one yet? No, he's the interim. He's uh, they they're hired keep him. him. They hired him, yeah. So, which is fun. But right? their starting quarterback, Taylor Green, is out. He transferred but to Arkansas. They were so displeased with the performance of their coach, <laughs> they fired him, and then they won the conference. Yes. All right. But on UCLA the other side, is not going to show up for this game. I right? mean, UCLA's best defensive players opting out. Multiple pl defensive players are opting out. Boys. Three of them. Their defensive coordinator is now at USC. Their quarterback coach left as well. Dante Moore, who was one of their quarterbacks, left, and uh, I believe their tight end transferred. Right? I think oh, that's yeah, everybody. No, I, I, you you nailed it. No no one on my notes that you didn't get to. But we're getting Boise as Boise's backup quarterback, Maddox uh, Madsen. Is this one of those ones where the UCLA backups are better than the Boise backups? I think you gotta go UCLA, right? Just off of that. They're they're Garbers home. is back. Yeah, he's been in college for 30 years. I'll, I'll take UCLA. They had to, they didn't have to travel. <laughs> Chip Kelly. How they come up with lines on these are got to be hilarious. I would love to go behind the scenes I'd of these bowl games. If you if the I mean to me this is pretty simple. UCLA is just going to pound the rock. Uh led the Pac-12 in offense, rushing 191 yards per game. Shout out to our boy Carson Steele. Still got my Heisman ticket. Uh, it was a close one. Wait, did he? Did, did they already vote for that? Thing? Yeah, he oh, just he, he just it? got oh, it. Uh, we happen to nail it, buddy. And we did nail it. Mm. Congratulations to us for calling. I mean, you had it. You said just give me both Daniels. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Jack, and I remember, Jack Daniels and Jalen. And I remember yeah. I had to. I was able to get down on one, and then I had to email about the other one being offered. <laughs> <laughs> and then we had one that was a big price, and one that was a much smaller price. <laughs> Uh, what? So we're all on UCLA. I mean, are you on UCLA? <laughs> Me, of course. Oh, okay, then you I love. UCLA. I love. Uh, UCLA. I love Carson. State. Chip Kelly probably lives in Manhattan Beach. He's right there. He doesn't want to embarrass his neighbors. Yeah, it's a great recruiting you know? trip. Get the recruits up. Get them up in SoFi Stadium. There'll be lots of empty seats. Uh, game time. SGPN. California heads to. Well. <clears throat> Now we got a big, we got a, big we got a big boy matchup here, Colby, because we're talking about the Starco. No, I'm sorry. The, the, by the way, the LA Bull. I, I I lost this earlier, but the Starco Brands LA Bull. What the hell is Starco? Best part about this bowl game, hosted by Gronk. Yes, that's be fun. Stay tuned. Uh, all right, so then we have we we have the Radiance Technologies Independence Bowl, Shreveport, Louisiana. We got Cal. We got Texas Tech. 
We'll never forget the Texas Tech screwed over Mike Leach. And no. he took son of a bitch. And by the way, it's been, I think, a year. When this episode drops, it'll be a year since we lost Coach Leach. Yeah, so um I I I don't see how we can take is there a compelling reason to take Texas Tech? I don't think crooked I, crooked organization. And Cal has shown up in some spots. I I think uh I think this is a decent matchup for them. You know, they 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 destroyed UCLA, they almost beat USC. Like they've they've had some they've had some good uh games this season. So I I like Cal here and I think they're a live dog. Colby, do you agree? Colby's very locked in on this. Well, it's just you got both quarterbacks out, right? Shucks at Louisville now. He's Colby out for the year. The Cal, Cal, Sam Jackson. Well, they're gonna go. The other guy started some. Yeah, I think Cal's yeah. the, the smarter play. Let's go with the Golden Bears. Sean, long live Coach do Leach. Not lay two and a half. You take always two take and two and a half. half. It's just that simple, right? Not our first rodeo, Ryan. It sounds like you've been using a parlay optimizer. It sounds oh, like you've you. oh. been signed up over at hofbets.com and using that promo code SGPN, so you get fifty percent off your first month. Uh, so such a useful tool when uh, digging through, creating your uh, player prop parlays, or just looking to fire off some solo. Player props, very easy to sift through a ton of data very quickly, saves you a bunch of time. And when you use our promo code SGPN, you get 50% off. Download the Hall of Fame Bets app or visit HOFBets.com to get Hall of Fame Bets, the sports betting research platform for parlays, player props, and game lines. All right. Well, so we may not talk to you about college football again until next uh, Tuesday. So we decided to cover the game on Monday and Tuesday as well. So we're at, zooming over to Monday. So we're done with the Saturday games. Shout out to college football for giving us. Uh, I'm seeing eight, and that doesn't even count the sick ass Division two and Division three stuff Colby was talking about. Oh earlier. yeah. We got Monday eleven thirty. Wait, this is a weekday game, and they're playing at eleven thirty on the. On Give the us West more Coast. of these. Hashtag Give us more of these. these. My lord, this is delightful. Uh, God's eye will be up early. We got the famous toastery bowl. Pop tarts, right? This is the pop tart bowl. It, it, this thing listed as the famous toastery bowl. We is do it? have the pop tart bowl this I, year. I don't know. You're telling me we got multiple toast related bowl games. <laughs> this is unbelievable. Jim Nance is in a, a complete. Yeah, tizzy. no, actually, the Pop-Tart Bowl is NC State, K State. So yeah, there the you famous go. Toastery Bowl, uh, Western Kentucky, the Hilltoppers are taking on ODU, Old Dominion, the Monarchs. Um, Charlotte, North Carolina, not being played in a dome. Which, what's the what stadium are they playing this one in? Jay Rich. Okay. Mine another two and a half point spread. Old Dominion laying it minus one forty on the money line. Hilltoppers plus one twenty. Fifty five and a half is the total. All over, Old Dominion here. Yeah, really. I'm going Western Kentucky. They have three <sighs> offensive linemen that are out. They Ooh. also have Western Kentucky, oh. and they have their their top defensive back out and linebacker Desmond Baker, who was pretty good for them as well. Me all they need, all they needs Austin Reed, Colby. This is a this is the type of bowl game. Austin Reed lights it up. He, people are calling him the next Bailey Zappy. No, he's not. Yes, yeah, sir. Uh, yeah, sir. Zappy hour. ODU's an incredibly young team that was getting better each and every week. I feel like so. Give me ODU to get this done. We did just discuss how you're supposed to take two and a half. And, yep, and that's what I'm it. doing, Ryan. What are you doing? With all due respect, Old Dominion. Uh, where do they? Where are they located, Colby? Norfolk, Virginia. Just an absolute hotbed, hotbed of talent. Old Dominion lay the points. Oh, also, Sean, crazy. Um, what you may remember, uh, and I believe it, Old Dominion uh, really hosed me one one college football weekend when they were playing Virginia Tech. I believe Sean was getting married, and a bunch of us were sitting around, and it just. <laughs> Uh, misery, uh, big big favorites turned into just a disastrous situation. Quente uh, can go fuck himself still to this day. <laughs> so yeah, all of that being said, we're gonna take the Monarchs over the Hilltoppers. Money splits. Colby and I are very sharp. Forty five percent of the bets, but eighty three percent of the money on Old Dominion. Uh oh. Get those Veasan dot com betting splits around once in a while. All right, Tuesday last game. We got the meet meet UTSA, which uh, 
they didn't lose their coach, right? No. Yeah, we thought he, we he interviewed at a couple yeah, places. I was gonna say he was actually yeah. one of the guys being named for Texas A and M, if I'm not mistaken. And and they got Captain Harris, who's like in his thirtieth year. I think it was his yeah, final was college say, football Frank, game. Frank Harris yeah. has been in college for a very long time. He, he, uh, what was the name of that movie? Unnecessary Roughness. Yeah. Remind, maybe yeah. he's the Great age movie. of the quarterback in the oh Paul Kath, Blake Kathy was the Ireland. character's name. Uh no, this Frisco is, test Texas. This is one though. Remember the Marshall starting quarterback, Cam Fancher. Remember he transferred because the fans don't like him. Uh, Remember the coach <laughs> shit on him saying because uh, he sucks and the yeah. fans really hate him. Uh, Fra Frank Harris and the Roadrunners are laying ten here in the Frisco Bowl. The Scooters Coffee Frisco's Bowl. Sean, can you please find out how much these cost? It's getting more and more I ridiculous. I feel like yeah, we're almost hitting that range. <laughs> well, where you'll get the SGP and DGen bowl. So UTSA, the Roadrunners are laying ten here, minus four ten on the money line. Marshall plus three twenty. Fifty three and a half is the total. Something I did stumble into is if you uh, you troll around these bowl games, something you'll realize is that the majority and Colby can see the logos on my screen, but the majority of these bowl games are put on by ESPN events. Mm. Hmm. Mm. Hmm. How fitting. Hmm. I mean, it's like all the bowl games. Yeah. Huh. I, I think it'd be I a real shame if I think uh, I found that email address for Colby. Yeah. <laughs> let's go. So, um, yeah, UTSA laying to how do you, you uh, now Marshall doesn't have a great offense, but this is going to be a blowout. Yeah. I like their defense. This is going to be twenty ninth in EPA per plays uh, this season. Eighty one tackles for loss. I would bet my life on this big game. Really, consider, you think Frank I Harris? Cons, I, would I don't know. I feel like child. he's let us down a bunch as a big favorite. He's fun as a scrappy dog, but as a big favorite, no. Isn't this when you fade him? Marshall, Marshall doesn't have their. What quarterback. happened to the quarterback again? He See, quit the team. Yeah, because they. That's good. You you got you got rid of the biggest pussy on the team, and you don't want to take the Marshall. Fans aren't well, there's always a backup quarterback. They, they Colby, who's gonna have pussy. the crowd? Uh, I'm, um, I'm all over Marshall. Colby, who do you think's gonna have this crowd in Frisco, Texas? You oh, guys this are crazy. A UTSA crowd. I'm all over it. Lay lay the. This the, this is lock. San, <laughs> folks from San Antonio are gonna head up to the big city of Frisco. Oh yeah. See what I did there? A little backhanded. backhanded well, I, I, Frisco, Texas. I mean, I was looking at some uh, Watch retirement, your fucking tone retirement right property there. Are you like Cowboys? No, but I like the uh, fact that they play football games all the time in that in that stadium. I will say there are a lot of football fields in Texas. That's what I'm saying. They they do it right. A lot, lot of water being wasted on football fields in Texas. You guys are crazy. This is a this this Marshall team is good. They can play some defense, and you can't trust. Frank Harris as a massive Look favorite. This final game, he's so much better. He's one of the best quarterbacks in the nation. Yeah, how, those how are the guys. He? He's thirty-one years. Play with Sonny Jurgensen. This is his last yeah. game. <laughs> Let's yeah. go. You guys are crazy. Give me, give me Marshall plus ten. Oh, and it's it's been brought to our attention that um, we may have a bigger beef with ESPN events than we know. Oh no. Oh no. I will no longer use their name and refer to them only as the devil. Uh, Colby's got to email the devil. UTSA by a million. This is this might be the lock of locks. Mm. All right, we made it. We made it. We Time made it. for the lock dog tease and bonus lock. Happy I am an East Carolina <laughs> fan. No, well, Colby, appreciate knowing that. Do you want me to go first, or would you like to go first? No, no. Uh, Kramer always goes first. Okay. Uh, you know, I, I was just curious if you guys were uh, t tired of copying me. Uh, because I, I love the Kramer gang so much, we're going to give them the most shelf life on the lock. Give me UTSA minus 10. That game's not happening for a while. Okay. Oh, I thought you were going to play a sound. I was waiting. I was pausing to allow the uh, time for the sound to play. The second lock, give me ODU. I want all the shelf life for my people. <laughs> Dog, give me the Red Hawks plus 170. Miami of Ohio over App State. Respect the Mac. T uh, plus 170 on the money line. Yeah, that yes. A uh, tease. Teasing in bowl season is very dangerous. <laughs> very very dangerous activity to to take part in. So, we're going to head over are we allowed to tease FCS? Yes. Get in there. Albany. <laughs> this is a Colby tease. Up Florida, you know, Florida A and M. I like that. Teasing it's seven to one. Thank Sharp. You. 
and Montana up to seven and a half. And hopefully they get a couple more return touchdowns this week. Let's go. All right. For me, what do I like on this slate? There's a bunch of games. I think. Um, all right. Where do we start here? Georgia Southern. That was a pretty interesting one. Kind of going back and forth. Seventy-five percent of people would rather have Tommy DeVito than Bryce Young. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Okay, uh, I'll start off with my lock. UCLA Carson Steele can't get away from Carson Steele. My other lock, give me Montana plus one and a half, and my dog. Give me the Cal Golden Bears. Small dog, but still a dog. I was going to take uh, Miami of Ohio, but Kramer took that one. I'll take Cal plus 120 on the money line. For my tease, give me uh, Miami of Ohio up to 11 and a half. Uh, give me hmm, FA uh, Florida AM down to minus one and Western Kentucky up to eight and a half. Colby, lock. UTSA minus 10. Dog. Great lock, Colby. Dog. I didn't take a lot of dogs. Uh join me. Join me. Give me give me uh Montana a little yapper. Oh, what is that? <laughs> That's a little baby. It's bear. like a minus 105 <laughs> dog, probably. But what else? I mean, I didn't take any other I have Cal, but you pick Cal. You know. Hundred pound grizzly bear, a little mini, like a, like a, like a. All right, no, 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 no. Okay, Kenan. I mean, Marshall, do it. No, I was gonna say maybe we go Howard. Upset Ooh. special. They had a month off. What? Here. You, you're... I know I'm on family. Wait, what? Saying, yeah. <laughs> this Wait, is how, what? <laughs> this is how Colby plays. Take no. Albany money line. I don't think they can win. I think they can cover. No. But I, I, looks like you're gonna have to cover. All right, let's me, go Colby. Albany. Give me the Great Danes and Poffenberger. Oh, yes. Puff. Puff, puff, puff. Uh, the T. What, what do we think that money line will be? Because the price isn't out yet. But uh, it's probably gonna be like plus one thousand. Oh my god! I could, go. If I hit that, I can play so many Let's uh, so many go. slot machines. Poffenberg for life. Uh the T's. Albany up to twenty eight, of course. Sharp. Montana up to seven and a half, of course. For reference, Iowa was fourteen to one in the Big Ten championship. That was a twenty-three point spread. So okay, UTSA minus four, bring that thing down, and the bonus lock. Oh, you put UTSA Jacksonville State minus three and a half. Damn, that's a good pick. That's a good pick. Yeah, I like that Jacksonville State one. That was a Brett Favre flip phone pick. Mm. Love it. Uh, parlay. We do. We're giving out a uh, group parlay here. I was thinking we'd be a little safer for the holidays, you know. Okay. Don't drink and drive. Don't parlay, Don't parlay. when you need to. But what about uh, what kidding. about a little FCS kidding. parlay? No. Albany and Montana. It's FCS bullshit. Money with, lines with no with Florida A and M. No one gives a shit about the FCS. Who cares? No one. What are you a fucking follower <laughs> over here? All right. Be the fucking guy here. People right? want people want to bet on talk. bowl games. Coach not Leach, this. if he ever heard that, man, he'd be uh, very disappointed. In you. Not everyone has these these funky apps. You this guy download. cares about. Uh, just, no one cares about these things. Be the fucking man. All right. Can't be. You think man, Geronimo be cared about fucking? You know, uh, going into battle if he was going to be the top guy or not? No, he just went out there and kicked ass. How about this, Cal? Money line. Oh Mo no, let's do the Grizzly Bear parlay. Okay. Cal, UCLA, Montana. Oh, I like it. UCLA lay in the three. Are there half. any other bear uh, teams that we uh, uh bear down? That's it. Cal on the money line, UCLA minus three and a half, Montana on the money line. So we doubt we didn't miss any bears. Didn't miss any bears. And who do the who do the Chicago Bears have this week, Sean? Uh not the Lions. It is the Oh, oh, they're playing the Browns. Browns. Oh, oh, they're gonna be. Let's fucked. let's add that in there too. No, no, I can't allow that. <laughs> Joe Flacco at home? You kidding me? That's true. Uh, all right. Hey, thank you everyone for tuning in. Always appreciate you smashing that subscribe <laughs> button. Shout out to the chat. You guys are, of course, the real heroes. Toss us a nice uh, rating review over on Apple Podcasts. Always appreciate that. Five stars on Spotify. Ryan, we're in the uh, top two hundred of uh, what? 
all sports podcasts. Oh, okay. Because people are downloading, rating, reviewing, well, telling a friend, doing their part to fight corporate gambling. Where are we in the uh, top sports podcasts that feature an Italian American? I, fe- I assume there's a new chart they have created, focused in on the the. It's a revolution. Kramer was the diversity hire. People don't realize that. <laughs> like, I mean, I I'm, I'm greater than zero percent Sicilian. There you go. Uh, and hey, we will be back. What do we got tomorrow? It's up to seventy-seven percent on Tommy DeVito. Tomorrow we are talking uh, a little Chargers and uh, Raiders Thursday, Thursday night. Football. night football we may have props. a special Ooh. guest who loves the San Diego slash Los You'll Angeles never Super Chargers. You'll never guess. There may be uh, a live by uh, via satellite uh, performance. So oh. stay tuned. Thank you for participating I- in the Sports Gambling Podcast. Nope, that is it. Sorry. Carry on. For the Sports Gambling Podcast, I'm Sean, second money green. He's Ryan. Let's go eat some cutlets. Kramer, let it ride.